Garmin and I'm with a company called Oval Integration. And uh, basically we're just showing off a demo um, that includes multiple protocols. We basically specialize in prototyping and machine-to-machine -machine communications. Uh, here's an app that basically you see that table over there. We are controlling various home automation systems through one unified interface. So right now you can see the lamps coming on. I can change, we have a DMX controller going on, so I'm changing the colors as you can see from green, yellow, maybe add some blue in there. Um, also we can do, you know, you can do basically kind of like a group scene type of control that controls everything all at once. Rad. And also, um, we're also showcasing a really cool technology called Six Low Pan, which is essentially an IPv6 stack that's running directly on the light bulbs. So can you turn those light bulbs on right now? Oh yeah, I can turn them on and uh, watch, see how bright they're getting? Rad. Yeah, so probably blinding everyone. <laughs> so yeah, it's really great. So there's an actual IPv6 stack running on each bulb and it's forming a mesh network, which is, um, you can literally hook up your laptop and ping each light bulb. Which is pretty crazy. Wow, that's pretty geeky, man. Cool. Very geeky. So what the more challenging, the better. What else does the iPad app do here? Uh, essentially, we're just showing the shade controller. See that shade right there? I'm opening it 50%. Maybe I'll open it all the way. Also, um, I can turn on, there's some Z-Wave controllers, those desk lamps that you see there. Those are actually connected to, a, those are Z-Wave nodes, which is a proprietary uh, radio protocol as well. And then those bulbs that I think I turned on earlier and blinded everyone, those are actually six low panels. They're actually dimmable compact fluorescents. Those will be out on the market in about two months. So that's pretty much it. So do you have a disco in your house? We could easily arrange that. We could we could bring this one over or we can you know we actually have a full DMX rig with uh, robo lights and stuff too. Cool. So what kind of applications do you do with this stuff? Home automation or home well, customization? We basically uh, specialize in any sort of machine-to-machine -machine communications. Uh, we primarily used to focus in uh, the automotive and also um, aerospace sectors, but we're trying to get into consumer products which are much more um, fast-paced. Awesome. Are you looking for anything in particular? No, just a challenge, basically. You know, the more cutting edge, the like. I'd love to stick with six low pan, see what else, what other types of products come out besides the light bulbs. Maybe some sort of, um, you know, occupancy sensors or alarm clocks or something like that. Uh, the consumer market is so. It's interesting because you got to keep it low cost but also very functional, and it has to look good. So. I see. Can we do one more disco light? Yeah, no problem. All right. So there you go. With some disco lights. Close Can you dim the lights? <laughs> Sure. Or you mean which lights? The ballast or the, uh, the CFLs? Oh yeah, cool. No, that's good. There, that's probably attracting some attention. I'm totally gonna play with this later. <laughs> yeah, please do. You're always welcome. You can come down to our lab. We have a 2,500 square foot facility in Costa Mesa, and uh, front half is mostly software and embedded systems development, and in the back we're actually outfitting with a machine shop. So we'll be able to do uh, custom molding and things like that very soon. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you very much, Armin. No problem. My pleasure. Have fun tonight. Thank you.